good evening or good afternoon whenever you're watching this I'm Autumn Blossom and welcome back to the channel It's Halloween and that means that this whole challenge is done This is the finale, this is the conclusion video So since Thursday when I uploaded my last video I haven't done particularly a whole lot I've been working and obviously focusing on the other video that I am getting footage for um, but I did manage to write and I did manage to get a couple of thousand words in there and to be fair I am pretty happy with where it has ended off it is nowhere near ready to show you guys but I have to say that it was a success I don't know whether or not that matters I, it was a great experience for me being able to delve into a genre, a genre of writing that I have never thought I would ever go into. I do enjoy horror but I have decided that it is definitely not for me, it's not the niche that I would get into. I am very much fantasy and adventure and romance, not <laughs> blood, guts and fear. Um, not saying that I wouldn't carry on the story though, because I think that that's what I'm going to do. I think this whole... the story that I have created during this month, I will definitely be using as an escape when I when my current project gets a bit too much or I get a bit bored. It's a nice break and it's a completely different genre to it so I won't be still using the same kind of imagination if that makes any sense. So yeah, what have you missed? Over the week I had to recarve pumpkins because my pumpkins decided to rot and I've got to have a pumpkin in the house during Halloween. I wrote for a bit not a whole lot, a couple of thousand words, wasn't massive, but it got me to a point that I was happy with. I have realised that in the rush to finish for the end of the month, I kind of have skipped a whole chunk of plot that I sh could have put in there. Um, only writing two challenges and the second challenge is more of a final you know, final boss kind of challenge. So going back, I will definitely be putting some more information and more plot and more development in between those two tasks because two tasks is definitely not enough. Would I say that it was a peace, a calm, lovely experience? No. This has stressed me out so much but it's been completely worth it i think i struggled with the two videos every other day every other week sort of thing you know but i liked that challenge and it proved to me that i can do it I mean not my <laughs> my for mental reasons um being for stress level maybe i shouldn't do it but it's nice to know that it is possible i just wanted to give you an up like give you some closure on the whole s subject. I have fallen in love with the characters I've written and by writing this I've also dipped into the concept of race and sexuality a lot more than I have in my first book and I worked with pronouns and political correctness and things along those lines within this book because I knew that it wasn't going to go anywhere so it was okay to make those little mistakes I liked that concept of bringing in like pronouns and race and sex and the fact that like my main character is bisexual and that there are a multitude of different people and I tried to bring in as many cultures and minorities as possible into this because in, a, in my head horror is not very all-inclusive anyway. I wanted to kind of create this juxtaposition that shouldn't be there, this contrast that shouldn't be there, that there's all in, like, that horror is all inclusive, we are human, 
a ghost can scare me and a ghost can scare my friend. It doesn't matter the colour of our skin, the way we're brought up or the language we speak or the people we love. Horror is all inclusive but for some reason the horror industry isn't. So that's been quite a liberating feeling for me and I might just be talking out my ass and you all, whoever's watching this might be thinking that I'm being pretentious or that I don't know what I'm talking about and that I'm not educated enough and be my guest please educate me in anything that you think because I am completely willing to learn and I may be speaking from a point of privilege obviously I am but being able to at least dip my toes into that sort of concept was amazing to me and it makes me really happy to think that I probably, I developed skills that I can implement into my writing now. But yeah, that is kind of the roundup of what it was like, it was brilliant. I, I've got no downers to really speak about except for probably like the one where I felt like it was repetitive and I was constantly doing the same thing and I was I was reaching burnout and you can probably tell in the videos that I'm close to burnout and it felt like it was more self-doubt like I thought that the videos weren't going to do well or that you didn't want to see it and whether or not it got to a point where I was like screw it I'm enjoying what I'm doing it doesn't matter whether or not it does good the whole point of this wasn't really to create income it wasn't here to get views it was here to create a community of people who are going through the same things as me and also a way to document my own life and my own journey in writing so it is a positive this whole month has been would I do it again probably but I don't know maybe doing writing a romance for Valentine's Day or something along those lines or a children's book for Easter I don't know you know I'm not too sure but they're all in the future and the way that it's going I will have plenty of time to write so yeah I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please please tell me below and if you didn't go ahead and tell me below too because I want to know everything just to quickly catch you all up on other subjects on my other projects what am I doing with those well I haven't been focusing on them at all during this month so it will be a great breath of fresh air going back to my old work. Um, will I be writing or will I be editing? That is to be decided. Um, I know that NaNoWriMo is coming up next month and it is obviously a 50 word goal, I believe. Um, and I don't know whether or not I will be writing because my current project is nowhere near finished and I don't think I have enough in me and enough I planned to write 50k so I probably won't be taking part in this year's NaNoWriMo. What I do know that I'm going to be doing is dipping into my first story which will be my fifth draft um, and going through that just to make it as perfect and as happy as I can be with it um, before I release it to a CP so if any of you want to be a CP again comment down below I am part of a discord chat as well so I probably will ask in there but that will be a whole other video whenever that happens um, so yeah thank you for watching and if you haven't actually watched any of this playlist there any of this month's uh, content there is a whole playlist that I'll link right here or here somewhere um, please do click on it and give it a watch give me your opinions on everything that you see there and hear there and whatever you like um, I have enjoyed it and I am immensely proud of what I managed to do so it can't ever be a negative that way thank you for watching 
If you like what you're seeing, leave a like and a comment down below and don't forget to hit subscribe. I also want to wish everyone good luck who is taking part in NaNoWriMo next, well, starting tomorrow. Um, hopefully it all goes to plan for you. All the luck to you, honestly. It is an amazing opportunity and an amazing event for writers to take part in, so I am slightly jealous that I didn't plan for it. Kind of kicking myself there, but you know, good luck, honestly. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.